Hey guys, I got trainer Laura with sticks here and uh, we wanted to make you a video, but kind of want to go over some different things here. Sticks is learning all the same exact things that his brother is learning, but uh, I'm going to kind of show you the leash walking right now. Laura, if you don't mind with your nice energy right there, will you go around the room for us? And uh, so he's learning like uh, we have this concept, right? We, we call it the, the walking bullseye, okay? Where Laura is the center of the bullseye. She's in the green zone, okay? Outside of Laura's arms reach is yellow. And then beyond that, like six foot or beyond is the, is the red zone. I don't want our dogs to be walking at the end of our leashes. So we don't want them to be at the red zone. So Laura, what she's doing is as she goes around, every time he catches up to her or stays right by her side, she's going to reward him and create that green zone where the dog wants to be. If he gets distracted and wanders away from her or gets somewhere else that he's not supposed to, we're going to use the leash to give him a bump or a correction to help him understand that now he's in the red zone and he should return to the green zone. Once a dog starts to understand this, and they're staying in the green zone happily and on their own, we know like they understand, like that's, that's how we know they understand the green zone, sorry, like he's doing right now. Once we establish these concepts inside, we will take these things and go outside. Good. And we're not particularly picky about exactly what side, but as long as he's not pulling on the leash, and he's not veering off to the left or the right or anything like that, we are, we're happy to reward that. And again, these are all just basic concepts that we got to get into the dog's brains before we can take him out into a world full of distractions and all that stuff. All right, guys, uh, I will end rambling there. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the basics of uh, the words that we're using, uh, the marker words uh, or the tools which again the tools are our voice the food and the leash at this stage so if you guys have any questions about any of that let me know otherwise we will catch you on the next video thank you for watching